Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, November 28th, 2022 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I remember that I can go as high as I go low. And as I was sitting here looking at the astro, <laughs> that's what I, I was just thinking. Life is rarely this, right? Like it's rarely that straight line that's just like, just going on. You know, usually it's some level of this. In the contrast, the Scorpio times, right? The contrast is so important in the process of how it helps us have the desire to go to our next peak, our next high. And so this week's energy has a lot, <laughs> a lot of connections going on. And they're not necessarily, no connection is good or bad. They're not necessarily overly challenging or underly challenging, depending how it hits your chart, right? Um, but they definitely have room for a lot of that contrast. And Sagittarius reminds us we take that contrast and we can use it to help ultimately leverage ourselves. So that's the word of the week is leverage. How can you use any contrast, any challenge for leverage. That being said, I want to say thank you for all the birthday wishes. I am recording this on said birthday, the 27th, uh, before going out tonight with Joe and some friends for dinner, but thank you. Uh, super appreciate all of the love and it made me feel really good. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That being said, I was going to say it's never anything's responsibility outside of ourselves to make us feel good. So just keep that in mind. Like we have that power. And again, that's part of the Sagittarius energy. When the time is to feel better, <laughs> when we have been in the mud and gotten the nutrients that we have gotten from the mud, from the muck, um, that is when we're like, okay, now, how can I shift that perspective? This is the work of Sagittarius. This is the alchemy, right? So let's dig in. Let's dig into this week. I have to say, the, one of the main events of this week, events, is Venus making so many connections. And Venus really helps us learn how and, how and where we need to nurture ourselves. Venus helps us know and understand our worth put value towards things. Um, Venus can support us in relating energy. So as Venus makes a lot of connections, we may find a lot of energy coming up around all that. So keep that in mind this week as we go from connection. To, it's almost like Venus has a connection every day, including an opposition with Mars on Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, depending where you live. Um, Late Wednesday, we'll, we'll say that. Late Wednesday, we have that Venus-Mars opposition, which oppositions are really interesting. There can be a little push and pull when it comes to it. But there can also be balance. And especially when it comes to Venus and Mars, this feels like a beautiful time of balance. They're in Sagittarius and Gemini, Mars retrograde in Gemini. So there's definitely learning potential in this opposition learning deeper layers of the yin learning deeper layers of the yang and how to work with them together i should have turned my sounds off <laughs> um so we have all of that energy uh going on all that energy more going on we also have uh neptune direct on saturday neptune has been retrograde since last, not since last Saturday, since June, the late June. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I'm getting calls and texts and they show up on my thing. And I'm so grateful, but focus, focus. <laughs> Using the inner Virgo to pull the focus. Um, Neptune has been retrograde since late June. Now, a lot of times when it's an outer planet like Neptune, unless it's right on your stuff, or your Piscean uh, or super Neptunian chart wise, you're not necessarily gonna feel that direct lesson. But I will say for this last week, last almost week of this retrograde, uh, 
Neptune hanging out at 22 degrees, that master level degree, you definitely want to be very aware of what are my spiritual lessons. Make sure you're tuning into your intuition, your dreams, your daydreams, all of that to help support you and support this Neptune energy. Jupiter finishing up in Pisces as well just is pushing those lessons. So definitely getting double whammies of that. All right, let's dig into today's astro. There are so many connections going on. Let's start with the Venus connection, because like I said, Venus is definitely working us this week. We have Venus in an inconjunct with Uranus. So I did the write-up about Mercury in conjunct Uranus. Now we have Venus in conjunct Uranus. So I spoke about freedom and values um, and how getting those two energies to work together can be super potent. I think this takes it to another level of your personal gifts and working with your personal gifts, that's the Venus energy, your personal gifts and talents, feeling free to do those and recognizing those things provide so much worth to the world. And sometimes we don't necessarily see it. Sometimes it's like, what is that theory of like, butterfly flapping its wings in Maryland affects somebody in Japan, right? We don't always necessarily see the effects of the ripples that we bring, but if you are bringing something of value, um, if you feel <laughs> free to bring that something of value to the world, that makes so many shifts and it can aid in others unlocking parts of themselves. So it's not necessarily your job, your work to do that. And yet that can be so powerful. That being said, when we have Uranus, Uranus is triggery. Uranus likes to poke at things. And so with Uranus in an inconjunct with Venus, we may feel a little poked in regards to our gifts, in regards to our talents. This can also show up as money stuff. And I don't think I've ever been hit more by emails about sales and all of that. So be aware of that. And again, put your money where it is valuable, but also don't feel like you need to, right? I do believe money in, money out, right? We breathe it in, we breathe it out. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing. But watch for all those pressures because, damn, that pressure is very intense right now. <laughs> so um, that Venus in conjunct Uranus energy. It also could be a little challenging in relationships. I would say with all the Venus transits this week, there could be relationship challenge, but it also feels like it can be relationship leveling up, um, especially if you avoid that comparison energy. You are who you are, they are who they are. If you can value who they are and value who you are around them, hopefully you being you around them, that's the beautiful, I'm going to do a little dance while I pull forth the word. That's the beautiful alchemy. We'll use alchemy. That's the beautiful blend. That's the beautiful alchemy to move forward with. All right. So besides that, we have so, so, so much going on. Sun and moon in connection, fire and air, super creative energies. But this energy can blow smoke. This energy can breathe fire. So be aware of that with the moon in Aquarius, sun in Sagittarius, Fire breathing dragons are afoot <laughs> in all of us. Fire breathing dragons living in volcanoes ready to like whoo, spout off. So watch for that. <laughs> Mars. Mars in, oh, this is interesting connection. Mars retrograde in Gemini. Trine Saturn. Saturn in Aquarius. Saturn making this beeline to finish up in Aquarius. <sighs> Again, this feels like it's learning new lessons, but this feels like it's lessons around vibrations, vibrations of your thoughts, vibrations of your thoughts that therefore then affect your actions and starting to be aware of what kind of, um, I don't know what those things are called when there's a boat and it leaves the wake, right? What kind of wake are you leaving? Uh, in your life, what kind of wakes are you creating within your life? I think there's another word for that besides wake. Because I don't necessarily know if I like that word for this. But being very aware of that in this connection. Saturn brings us to our responsibility. And with Mars in Gemini, there's definitely actional component components in it as well as mental. 
Um, moon in Aquarius connecting to Venus. So Venus is connecting to both the moon in Aquarius and Uranus. So Venus may feel a little pushed. <laughs> your inner yin may feel a little pushed by this energy. I would also say for your inner yin, taking the time for grounding and clearing Part of the Aquarian energies is recognizing how susceptible we can be to outside vibrations. Um, and so just having your awareness around that and clearing, using, I was going to light an incense. I didn't, but I can do that now. Clearing <laughs> that and using support for that can be very helpful. So lighting an incense. I've been using these chakra incenses, and I'm kind of curious which one that I grabbed. Heart. I grabbed Anahata heart incense for us. So that's beautiful with all this beautiful Venus energy this week. All right, continuing through all the astro, the moon making the rest of the connections, moon squaring Uranus, uh, sextile, um, Mercury, trine, Mars, conjunct Saturn. Whew. It's a lot. <laughs> vibes. Being very aware of your vibes as we move through the day will help you move through these energies. It's very electrical. My thought is with all of these energies, these energies may cause even stronger currents than usual uh, to go out from you. So keep that in mind. In fact, the top of the cards that I had today is the sharing card. Um, the sharing card to me is like, hey, recognize you are sharing your light with the world, whatever your level of light is. And this doesn't mean be fake. It just is that awareness like, hey, everything you go through, <laughs> you glow through, you push through into the world. We are sharing everything, right? Like there is nobody who is locked outside of our bubble. Even if they're sitting on top of the Himalayas by themselves, we're all feeding into the larger we. And keeping that awareness, I think, can motivate some of us to do the work that we need to do. And some of that work is, you know, highway to the danger zone is what started playing in my head. It's some of the shadow work. It's some of those lower ends on that roller coaster, right? And so there may be some of us who are feeling this way today, and there may be some of us who are feeling more this way today. And it all goes out there. So show up for that energy. Um, it's so funny because <laughs> I have the Be Here Now card in reverse. And I think with these electrical vibes, we may be very mental. Um, but I think this is a reminder. Keep bringing yourself back to where you are. Whether you're here, whether you're here, moving in between, bring yourself back to that place. The final card that I have is actually the, the laziness card. Um, and the laziness card, what I'm seeing in this is like lean back in the place where you're at go through it. <laughs> go through it. Go through it. Uh, <laughs> I'm being beckoned. So I'm going to leave that here for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me mimiclark at gmail.com. I promise I will be releasing my year ahead readings. I just need to finish that up. I always struggle with deciding on a price. So I'm at that point of like, what is the value of this reading? So uh, you can email me for those incoming. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. And honor your value. Namaste.